I was born in Yankton, South Dakota. I went to a one-room schoolhouse, was fortunate to go to a much larger high school, and then moved to New York, and subsequently uh, did my doctorate at Columbia. After my first uh, semester, I actually started working part-time, and I was uh, fortunate enough to work at the what was then the Brookdale Institute on Aging. I had a team of four retired faculty who I would take weekly up to the South Bronx to a middle school, and they would meet with teachers and they would meet with students, and they were really just trying to infuse and excite the children about possibilities. And actually, the dropout rate for that year decreased. That was phenomenal. You cannot be a social worker in New York and not know a lot of social workers who went to Columbia University. It's almost like a, a, a club. <laughs> I um, was probably one of the rare people in my cohort who always wanted to work with older persons. And I tie that back to my family, who always took care of older people in our community. Might be the great uncle who lived with us until he died. It might be the woman who acted like my grandmother. There was always an awareness of caring for others in the community. So all I did was really bring those kind of interests to Columbia, and the era was right, uh, especially in, in the United States, for recognizing that there were going to be many, many more older persons. And uh, I've always wanted to think of that as a resource, not a burden to society. It's an overwhelming feeling to feel you've been valued for something at the university. I love it dearly and, you know, it's a good feeling. <laughs>